This is the first time something like that is observed, where there is a glow ahead of the object towards the sun. And now, as it approached uh, closer to the sun, uh, there seemed to be some uh, teardrop shape. Deep within a secure facility, a military-grade AI was given a strange task. Re-examine the data from every object that has ever entered our solar system. It crunched trillions of data points, and then it flagged two of them. Two I. Borisov, the interstellar comet that visited in 2019, and a barely noticed anomaly, 3i Atlas. The AI found something human eyes had missed, a hidden thread connecting these two visitors from different unknown stars. This isn't a story about rocks and ice, it's about a potential cosmic highway, and the terrifying possibility that we are living right next to an offering. The Borisov Anomaly. The United States Space Command operates at the frontier of national security, where the lines between sky and space blur into one vast, strategic high ground. But not all of their work involves satellites and missile defense. Deep within their Cheyenne mountain complex, a new kind of soldier has been activated. It has no rank, no uniform, only a designation, Project Chimera. This is a revolutionary artificial intelligence designed for one purpose, to find patterns that the human mind, with all its biases and limitations, simply cannot see. Its first major assignment was a quiet reanalysis of seemingly mundane astronomical data, a task many considered a waste of resources. They were wrong. The thing nobody tells you is that our solar system is a shooting gallery. Thousands of asteroids and comets zip through our cosmic neighborhood every single day. Most are harmless, predictable chunks of rock and ice. But in 2017, we met Oumuamua, a bizarre, cigar-shaped object that tumbled through our system on a path from interstellar space. Then, just two years later, came to I. Borisov. It looked more like a traditional comet, trailing a tail of gas and dust. But its trajectory was definitively not from around here. It was a tourist from another star. The scientific community was buzzing, but the official story was simple. These were rare, random visitors, cosmic coincidences. But many people are crazy about finding deeper meanings, and the team at Space Command was no different. They fed every byte of data on Borisov into the Chimera AI. We're talking about its speed, an incredible 76,000 miles per hour. Its trajectory, a hyperbolic arc that screamed, one-way trip. And its composition, which held a few strange surprises, like an unusually high amount of carbon monoxide. For weeks, the AI sifted through the noise, comparing Borisov to every known object in our celestial catalog. Then, it found a match. Not a perfect match, but a statistical ghost, a faint echo in the data archives from an object cataloged as 3i Atlas. Atlas was a footnote in astronomical history, a faint smudge on a photographic plate from a sky survey a few years prior. It was moving fast, too fast, and on a trajectory that also suggested an interstellar origin. But it was dim, distant, and gone before any detailed analysis could be performed. It was written off as an anomaly. But the Chimera AI saw something else. It wasn't the trajectory that linked them, but a complex, multivariable signature hidden in the light signatures and orbital mechanics. The AI calculated the probability of two interstellar objects from different points of origin sharing this specific signature as a result of random chance. The number that came back was one in 10 billion. The connection was real. Suddenly, these weren't two random visitors. They were partners. This is where the story takes a chilling turn. The AI didn't just link them. It modeled their potential origins. Stripping away the gravitational influence of our sun and the other planets, the AI traced their paths backward into the void. The result was a bombshell. Both 2i Borisov and 3i Atlas appeared to originate from the same tiny patch of sky in the direction of the constellation Cassiopeia, but not from a star we can see. They came from a dark patch of the sky, a void. The AI's analysis suggested they weren't just from the same region. They were launched at the same time, traveling on carefully separated paths that would bring them through our solar system years apart. This wasn't a natural ejection from a chaotic star system. The data screamed of a deliberate, calculated launch. The chilling pattern suggested something far beyond our current understanding. A cosmic breadcrumb trail was being laid, and we had only just found the first two markers. 
the Casio Pay Avoid. So, what does this all mean? A 1 in 10 billion chance is not something scientists or the military can ignore. You see, for decades we've operated under the assumption that interstellar space is a wilderness. But this new data from Project Chimera paints a very different picture. It suggests that the space between stars might not be empty and chaotic, but filled with invisible lanes of traffic. A cosmic highway system. And it seems two vehicles just passed our exit. The implications are almost too massive to comprehend. It means the universe might be far more organized and far more populated than we ever dared to believe. Let's break down the problem. The thing is, getting an object out of its home star system is incredibly difficult. It takes a massive gravitational kick, usually from a giant planet like Jupiter, to fling a comet or asteroid into the interstellar void. The process is violent and chaotic. You'd expect to see a random shotgun blast of objects flying out in all directions. What you absolutely would not expect to see are two objects launched from the same point, traveling on coordinated but separate paths for millions of years, only to arrive in our solar system on a precise schedule. That's not chaos, that's engineering. Many people are crazy about the idea of alien technology, but the scientists at Space Command had to rule out every other possibility first. Could there be some unknown law of physics at play? some bizarre gravitational resonance that we don't yet understand? Project Chimera ran the simulations. It modeled every known and theoretical phenomenon. Nothing fit. The only model that matched the observed data was one that involved an artificial launch, a propulsion system. The data signature the AI found wasn't just about origin. It contained faint, almost imperceptible fluctuations in energy output fluctuations that were not consistent with a simple chunk of ice and rock warming up near our sun. Think about it like this. A natural comet is like a sputtering campfire. It's messy, unpredictable. The heat from the sun causes jets of gas to burst from its surface at random. Borisov, while it had a tail, showed a level of energetic consistency that was just odd. And when the AI cross-referenced this with the scant data from 3i Atlas, the pattern held. It was like comparing the crackle of a campfire to the smooth hum of an engine. The difference is subtle, but to a hyper-advanced AI, it's as clear as day and night. We weren't looking at comets. We were looking at probes disguised as comets. This leads to the most unsettling question of all. Why? If some advanced civilization is sending probes across the galaxy, why disguise them? Why send them on these long, silent journeys? The team behind Project Chimera could only speculate but one theory rose to the top. It's a strategy of stealth and patience. An ancient, hyper-advanced intelligence could seed the entire galaxy with these silent observers, sending them on millennia-long journeys to survey countless star systems. They wouldn't announce their presence with a giant mothership. They would watch, silently, from the darkness, using natural-looking objects as the perfect camouflage, and we would never be the wiser. The chilling possibility is that Borisov and Atlas were not the first. They were just the first we were smart enough to connect. More than rock and ice. When 2 I Borisov flew by, our telescopes got a good hard look at it. What they found was puzzling even then, long before any AI got involved. You see, comets from our solar system are mostly water ice. They're like dirty snowballs. But Borisov was different. The thing nobody tells you is that it was spewing out a huge amount of carbon monoxide gas way more than any comet from around here. At the time, scientists came up with a plausible explanation. Maybe Borisov formed in the incredibly cold outer reaches of its home star system, a place far colder than the edge of our own, allowing more carbon monoxide to freeze onto it. It made sense, but the AI reanalysis forces us to look at this fact in a new, more sinister light. Carbon monoxide is not just a random molecule. On Earth, it's a byproduct of incomplete combustion. It's what comes out of the exhaust pipe of a car. In the context of an interstellar object that shows signs of being engineered, a high concentration of carbon monoxide could be interpreted very differently. It could be exhaust, the faint residual signature of a propulsion system that had been running for millions of years, finally venting its last fumes as it coasted through our system. It's a wild idea. But within the new context provided by Project Chimera, it's a possibility that has to be taken seriously. But the rabbit hole goes deeper. 
By analyzing the light glinting off Borisov's core, astronomers determined it was reddish in color. This isn't unusual for comets, but the specific hue, combined with the chemical data, allowed the AI to build a more complex model of its surface. The model suggests the presence of complex organic molecules called tholins. These are sticky, tar-like substances that form when ultraviolet light irradiates simple compounds like methane and ethane. But not all things are what they seem. While tholins are natural, their specific structure on Borisov was, according to the AI, anomalously uniform, almost as if they were applied as a coating rather than formed by random processes. Could this be a form of shielding, a protective layer? designed to preserve whatever is inside the comet probe during its long journey through the harsh radiation of interstellar space. Think of it like the heat shield on a space capsule. It's a purpose-built material designed for protection. The idea that an alien civilization would use complex organic chemistry for their technology is mind-bending. We build with metal and silicon. Maybe they build with life's own building blocks, creating technological fossils that are almost indistinguishable from nature itself. This leads us to the final and most profound question. If these are probes, what is their mission? Are they just passive observers, galactic surveyors taking notes on a billion year timeline? Or is there something more? Contained within the gas and dust of Borisov's tail were other elements, nickel, magnesium, iron. The ratios were strange, but not impossible to explain with natural models. However, the Project Chimera team posed a different question to the AI. If you wanted to send a message, a simple, durable message that could survive for eons, how would you encode it? The AI's answer was chilling. You wouldn't use radio waves, which dissipate. You would encode it in the isotopic ratios of the elements you release. A message written in the very atoms of the periodic table, waiting for a species smart enough to read it. We haven't decoded any message yet, but the AI is now frantically searching for a key. We may have already received a message from the stars, and we were too busy looking at the envelope to read the letter inside. A universe full of ghosts. So, let's bring this down to Earth. For the average Joe, looking up at the night sky, does any of this change things? Does the idea of two interstellar rocks being linked by a military AI really matter? The thing is, it matters more than anything else in human history. We're talking about a fundamental shift in our understanding of the universe. It's the difference between thinking you live on a deserted island and suddenly finding footprints in the sand that aren't your own. The world feels a lot smaller and a lot scarier overnight. One has to wonder, is this all happening too fast? For centuries, we've slowly pieced together our picture of the cosmos. Copernicus, Galileo, Newton, Hubble, each one added a crucial detail, but now, an AI that thinks at the speed of light is connecting dots we didn't even know existed. Are we missing a key detail in our rush to jump to conclusions? Is it possible that the AI, for all its power, is wrong? That there's a natural explanation so bizarre and counterintuitive that we just haven't discovered it yet? That's the hope. But hope is not a strategy. The data points to a conclusion that is both incredible and terrifying. The U.S. Space Command isn't taking any chances. Reports suggest that observation protocols have been secretly updated worldwide. The search for interstellar objects is now one of the highest priorities in astronomy. We're no longer just looking for rocks. We're looking for engines disguised as rocks. We're hunting for ghosts. Every faint smudge on a telescopic image, every object moving just a little too fast, is now under intense scrutiny. The sky has become a place of suspicion. It's a silent, undeclared cold war. But instead of spying on another country, we're spying on the entire galaxy, waiting for the next visitor. Are Borisov and Atlas just the beginning? Are there more of these silent messengers on their way? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve on the biggest stories in the cosmos, make sure to like this video and subscribe. What if the next interstellar visitor doesn't just fly by?